Thursday to all of you praying with us today. Thank you. I'm Father Ron Peggy has our reflection. We're really glad you're with us. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 81. Keep listening. Sing, shout, be joyful. Play music, blow horns at the new moon, the full moon, the holy days, the Sabbath. Hear the still small voice. You called on me in trouble, and I helped you. Keep listening. Open your heart and I will fill it. My longing is for you as yours is for me. I want to whisper in your ear and tell of my love. Let me satisfy your hunger with honey from the rock. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from John, chapter 15, verses 10 and 11. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be complete. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. What's the number one commandment? I'm not talking about the ten sent through Moses on Mount Sinai. Just, Just the one big one from Jesus. You remember it? Love. That's it. Love God and love one another. If we expand today's scripture to the verses that come immediately before and after what I just read, this is what we hear. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. We also hear, this is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. That's the key to the joy identified in the scripture today. Love God and love one another. If we can faithfully keep those commandments, we will more fully experience complete joy. Christ says, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. Joy and happiness, those are wonderful feelings to experience, but they're very different. Joy comes when you make peace with who you are why you are here, and how you are. It is different from happiness in that happiness tends to be externally triggered, and it's based on other people or things or places or thoughts and events. Having a warm afternoon or spending a warm afternoon at a winery, that makes me happy. Enjoying a good cup of coffee after dinner, that makes me happy. Enjoying a family dinner with my children and my husband. That makes me happy. Happiness doesn't often last. It comes and goes based on circumstances. Well, if you're like me, sometimes, in your certain circumstances, you lose touch with who you are as a child of God. And some days, you struggle to remember what's your purpose here on earth. 
Maybe you don't feel like you have a definite purpose. Perhaps you find yourself in a situation that has left you feeling unloved or unworthy. Events, negative thoughts, and moments like these, well, those can leave us feeling unhappy. Happiness, or even unhappiness, is an outward expression. Joy is different. It's an inner feeling and is closely connected to God's grace. Joy endures hardships and trials and connects with meaning and purpose. Joy is a condition of the heart. It's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. It is in us precisely because we keep putting our effort into loving God and loving others, just as He commands. The word joy, or rejoice, appears in the Bible nearly 200 times. That highlights how important this fruit of the Spirit really is. True joy is divine in its origin. It's a spirit-given expression that flourishes best when times are hard. As followers of Christ, we rejoice because in Him, we have redemption. We know even the most difficult circumstances of our lives are not the end. Today's scripture carries a promise that if we keep working to know love and to love others, we will be rewarded with a heart filled with joy. Moments of happiness, they come and go, but the joy of the Lord will last. What's standing between you and choosing joy today? What's holding you back from loving God fully and completely and allowing God to love you just as you are? Trust in God's word and have faith that his promise of complete and full joy is possible when we dedicate ourselves to following his commandment. And as Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I praise you that you are a God who cares for the poor, the weak, and the helpless. Otherwise, I would still be lost. I confess the self-sufficiency, the pride, and indifference that makes it hard for me sometimes to really love the poor. Change me and use me to help others. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying with us today, my friends. Go in the peace of Christ, and we'll see you tomorrow.